So I've been asked to make a video to show how to um, check your solutions on problems like this right here when you um, have to get your answer. How do you use a calculator for it? So the original question was this 1 plus 19 cosine times 2 pi um, times x minus 0.2 um, equals 4. And I got these answers for when it should equal 4. So um, I'm going to check and use my calculator to check. So first off, I'm going to take that original equation, not the equals 4 part, but the rest of it, and enter it into my y equals. So I'm going to bring up that, uh, that y equals screen, and I'm going to enter it in. So uh, 1 plus 19 multiplied by cosine, and then notice I have the parentheses, 2 pi is my pi right there, times x minus 0.2 close up those parentheses. And I notice too that I'm in radians, so I'm just going to make sure that my calculator is in radians. It is. Good. All right, so I've entered that into my y equals, use that equation. And now notice I have table up here above graph. So if I, if I choose that table, right now this is just spitting out values for different x values. So when x is 0, when x is 1, so what I want to be able to do is change this so that I can, I can input whatever I want. It's not automatically generated. I can get that here in table set. So I'm going to go second window, gives me table set. And that independent variable, that input variable, I'm going to scroll over and change that to ask. Great. So now, when I go back and look at my table, I can enter in values. So like if I enter in zero, it, it spits out that value, etc. cetera. Uh, so what I want to do is just test this. So one of my answers was negative uh, 0.575. That's pretty close to 4. I like it. So then my next one is negative 0 0.025. Pretty close to 4 as well. And I can just check the rest of them, you know, 0 0.425, that sort of thing, and check them. And they're going to work. Um, another thing you can do, I noticed that, like, the period here is 1. So this, uh, this 0.425, it's pretty easy to go plus 1 in my head and get that value. But if there's a value other than 1, you can do the arithmetic here. So I could take that 0.425 in my input and then add whatever my period is. My period happens to be 1. So it'll do the addition for me and plug it in, and it gives me that answer. And I can tell my answers, they're, they're pretty close. So I'm pretty confident that those are, that those are good answers for that. All right, I hope, I hope that helps.